we're over here at the Good Smile booth. I know some of you guys requested it, so I want to make sure I covered it. So we're just going to pan through the shelves. I am not an expert. A lot of these lines are foreign. We don't cover all of it. We do know some of the licenses, so we'll, we'll see what's in store for us. Okay, we're going to start with the uh, Nendoroids over here. We have uh, Lucifer from Hell Talker. We have Richter Belmont from Castlevania. We have Leon S. Kennedy from Resident Evil 4. We got Rainy, the uh, Elden Ring, and the Master Chief from Halo Infinite. Down here we have Persona 5 characters, as well as Chainsaw Man. Now all of these are available here at the booth. Uh, obviously some have sold out, uh, as you can tell from the little stickers. But they're selling these on a daily basis. Um, it's great because some of these are, can be tricky to find, I know, uh, from other locations. I love that uh, yeah, Emmy here from Metroid Dread. Um, what a wow, what a design on that one. Looks absolutely phenomenal. But it's nice to see uh, all these products. I mean, they have a lot of um, variety in their product lines between the Nendoroids and the Figmas and their um, pop-up parade. I mean, they just have so much uh, variety in this in this uh, license. Making sure we're filming everything just so you get a sense of what is on display here. But again, these are all available. Uh, you can get them all right here at the booth. Um, you can buy them um, through various other retailers. So nothing new here. We'll show you some stuff in the other cases in a moment as well. Of course, at the end of the video. Uh, but, you know, just in case you want to see what is on display this year in the Good Smile booth. Love these Breath of the Wild ones. I mean, they did a great uh, job. Uh, one of my favorite ones has to be the the Link from uh, Ocarina of Time. Um, it just, I think they did great with the little bottle, with the fairy, with everything. Um, absolutely amazing job on them. Uh, but I like those, uh, the other ones from the uh, video game lines as well. I mean, the Tails looks phenomenal that you just saw a second ago. Um, I believe they had some Mario ones too, but that might be in the Figma line. And this is the final um, display case of the sales items. Uh, there's a variety of licenses here. Again, I do not know them. I know the Jujutsu Kaisen ones, so it's nice to see those here. There's more from the anime, so you got My Hero Academia. Um, Spy Family, always popular, and as you can see, sold out. Um, we got some more from the Spy Family line as well. And then you got some from Fairy Tail. Um, again, I do not know all these lines. We're not big on anime. We try to cover some of it when we can, but we're just so covering so many different things. Uh, we don't have the time to get deep on every single line. So it's hard to be a, a master of none in that respect here. But I do know Attack on Titan, and that's kind of crazy that it comes with a little wall there too. Here's some more from their pop-up parade line. Uh, you can see a mixture of the uh, various anime here. And uh, Lilith and Darkstalkers. Lilith gets around. She's in a lot of lines. Uh, we just saw her over in the Kotobukiya booth as well. You got some from their Hello line over here. With a variety of anime. We get Jujutsu Kaisen. A lot of Jujutsu Kaisen in here too. A lot of the core characters. And then Chainsaw Man over here. Denji and Power. And another batch of uh, characters as well. And their Hello Good Smile line. And Joker for Persona 5 sold out over here. And then we get some of their larger scale uh, statues over here, the seven scale statues in the lines. Over here we have some of their N N Nendoroid plushes as well as their blind box series for Kirby. And then you have the Hunter uh, X Hunter over here. This is out of stock, but another blind box series. Uh, these are out of stock too. Uh, they look like um, accessory uh, blind boxes. So it's kind of cool that they build out these uh, awesome little accessories for your displays. And then we have some more of their um, statue lines over here as well. Again, these all appear to be on sale. I haven't seen anything that looks like a new reveal yet. So if you're looking for that, I'm not sure exactly, unless some of these are a US debut, and that might be the the new aspect to it. And over here we have some more blind box figures from the uh, Junji Idu Pocket Curse. Uh, we have this large limited edition collectible statue of a uh, Azami, and this is a pre-order. So this might be the first time you're seeing this um, ever on display. 
Same with these uh, Junji Inu Cooker Curse Series 2. These all look like prototypes. And then we got some more plush over here from this uh, Lamb, Cult of the Lamb collection. And then they are, have doormats and other plush as well. All right, so here is your reveal case. Unfortunately, they're not actually here. They're just pictures of them. So they're just going to be giving you a, a sense of what they're going to have. So they have some from Berserk. They have some from Elden Ring. Uh, Delicious in Dungeon here. A couple characters in that line. You have Marcel and Laos uh, down here. You got Nana, uh, Nana Osaki from the series. Uh, a ton more. Shadow the Hitchhawk. Going to be a good year for Shadow with that movie coming out later. And then you get Astro Boy over here on the right. And then you got some more in the um, the good the Hello Good Smile series here. And there's going to be an Astro Boy in that as well. So these are all upcoming characters, up for pre-order, but not on display here in the case. And here is some more uh, Nendoroids. These are all event exclusive, so they are available here at the event. Uh, you can see they still haven't been stock. So if you're uh, probably not seeing this when you're at the show, because I'm not going to have a chance to publish this right now, but. Um, they are still available. You can get them down here at the show. Unclear if they're going to be sold after the show, um, but uh, yeah, uh, they are all event exclusives and they are quite popular right now. Uh, these are not event exclusives. These are in the regular line. So you got Toothless here, Bob from Minions, you got uh, Invincible, Patrick, and Marty McFly looking awesome. So Chainsaw Man. You have a couple of these characters, so you got power as well. Alucard from Helsing. You get another Berserk character, sold out. And then one from Demon Slayer. And that is all for the Good Smile booth. We hope you enjoyed taking a look at what is available for purchase, what might be here in the States for the first time, and what is forthcoming. Although they didn't have any, um, they didn't have a lot of prototypes, they had a couple. A lot of these were just kind of images of what the characters will be. So still nice to know what is coming up. So hope you enjoyed that. Hope you got those QR codes uh, to be able to go look at those for pre-orders. So that is all for this booth. As always, like, subscribe, and follow, and we'll see you at the next booth.